live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. So we have that storm system finally heading out to sea. Some rain showers off the peninsula of Florida. A few leftover rain showers in the outer banks of North Carolina. And our clouds are gradually moving from south, from north to south across the area. So we only reached 44 degrees this afternoon. Uh, nine degrees below the average for this time of the year at the GSP International Airport and far from the record highs or the record lows. So 44 at GSP, but 48 at the Asheville Regional Airport. Warmer in the mountains because you saw more sunshine in the mountainous areas than in the upstate because of the mid to high level clouds that were around the, and the, over the skies. And right now it's the high was 48, exactly where it should be for this time of the year, but far from the record highs or the record lows on the state. Main Street, Liberty Bridge, it's our live shot from Peace Center, downtown Greenville. On this Tuesday evening, it's chilly, 42 degrees. It's already 34 in Spartanburg, 38 in Anderson, 37 degrees in Lawrence, and also in Greenwood, 46 in Decoa, and it's 43 degrees currently in Asheville. So cooling down pretty quickly across the area. Very little wind to speak of except for the northern and central mountains. Again, the winds are starting to shift out of the northwest at 13 miles per hour, making it feel much colder, and that's where the humidity levels are much lower. Higher humidity levels through the upstate and back into northeastern Georgia. So the temperatures will fall just a little slower process. 46 right now in Columbia. It's 45 in Hilton Head, 43 along the Grand Strand in Myrtle Beach, also in Raleigh and in Atlanta. 34 degrees in St. Louis. So this Arctic air that was to our northwest and to our north is modified considerably with sunshine. So not as cold. 34 in St. Louis, but the front, not quite in Miami. It's 80 degrees, but behind the front, it's cooled down 68 degrees in Orlando. They were in the mid 80s yesterday ahead of that cold front. So I talked about it earlier in the newscast. No major winter storms around the area except for the Pacific Northwest. All the snow up in Canada is going to shift and stay north of the Great Lakes. It might skirt by the northern part of Maine over the next couple of days, but really that's about it. So season will be cold but not bad. Look at this. It was actually above freezing in Minneapolis for the first time in weeks. 32 in Kansas City right now, 27 degrees in Chicago. So we've modified the Arctic air, plus we've pushed it back up into Canada, at least for a brief period of time. It's going to come back most likely next week behind a major storm system. Seattle is 48 degrees at 72 currently in Phoenix. So not too bad. Season will be chilly across most of the country. As we go through the night tonight, that low is producing a few showers in the outer banks of North Carolina. For us, we'll continue to clear out the skies. Maybe some clouds building in along the Savannah River Valley, uh, maybe a late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But then as the high moves in, the clouds dissipate pretty quickly. So expect uh, lots and lots of sunshine during the day tomorrow. Clearing skies and cold, low 31 degrees in the mountains. Clear skies and cold, low temperature 27. Light winds uh, later on tonight in the mountains. Plenty of sunshine, not as chilly tomorrow afternoon in the upstate. High temperature 59 degrees. That's not too bad. 43 to start with, warming up to 58 degrees about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. In the Asheville Henderson Valley for tomorrow, lots of sunshine, a pleasant afternoon. High temperature 56. We'll start off at 33 at 9 a.m., warming up to the high temperature, which will be reached about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Four day plus looks like this. It gets even milder on Thursday afternoon. Cold front passes by Thursday night, so season will be cool on Friday. And then right now for the holiday weekend, looks like Christmas Day is going to be liquid and not a white Christmas this year.